Years and Years is from Russell T Davies, the queerest folk creator and the producer who reimagined Doctor Who so successfully. And it's fast becoming the most talked about show of the year, along with the second season of Succession. Inspired by both the election of Donald Trump and the Brexit vote, there's a neat conceit at its centre. It tells the story of the rise of a populist dictator, Viv Rook, played by Emma Thompson, but does it not by concentrating events on her terrifying rise to power, but rather on the ordinary people affected. Beginning in 2019, with Trump still building his walls and British Parliament not having worked out the troublesome Irish backstop, we encounter the extended Lyons family in Manchester one night, a diverse lot in race, sexual preference, gender, identity and physical disability, presided over by their grand, played with sardonic edge by Anne Reid. Her grandchildren are Stephen, Daniel and Rosie, played by Rory Kinnear, Russell Tovey and Ruth Madeline. And then there's Jessica Hines Edith, an activist somewhere overseas saving the planet. They're all worried about the world they live in, the banks, politics, the corporations and America. Never thought I'd be scared of America in a million years, but we've got fake news and false facts. I don't even know what's true anymore. What sort of world are we in? <laughs> then the family drama is propelled forward in time, year by year in a series of montages. Trump is re-elected, Angela Merkel dies. Good riddance, remarks the omnipresent rook, hardly off the TV. The world just got a whole lot prettier. And by 2024, life has become more unbearable. London is overrun by refugees from the Ukraine. Some areas requiring means testing for entry. The border deal with Ireland has still not been settled and unrest is everywhere. All this happens around the tightly knit Lions family as they navigate extremist politics, climate change and even more technological encroachments on their lives. Stephen and his wife Celeste have a major problem with daughter Bethany, who is in transition. She wants to be transhuman or fully digital. I've been uncomfortable. Her brain downloaded into the cloud so she can live forever as data. And Viv Rook's populism is on the rise as she forms her own political movement to represent the people abandoned by the big old parties. Yes, this is bleak, but it's surprisingly funny in places, witty and clever. And there's a romance too between Daniel, who oh, yeah. has discovered his recent marriage to his boyfriend isn't all he wished for, and asylum seeker Victor, a young nice. Ukrainian who fled Kiev after being tortured by the Russian allied authorities for being gay. And be prepared too, because Davies, always the magician, pulls a ferocious surprise out of his writer's hat just before the first episode ends, horrifically changing the nature of reality for the Lyons family. Graham, I knew nothing about this. I came to it cold. I think it is so daring, it is so clever, it's brilliantly written, really well performed. It touches on so many contemporary mm. issues, played out against what is basically a soap opera of this family. Yes. So it's a soap opera with an agenda. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm so impressed by, by every element of this. It's extraordinary cleverness, the, the combination of kitchen sink drama, kind of sci-fi <laughs> dystopian mystery and a kind of state of the nation set of pronouncements. I mean, that's a serious, they're, they're big, big ideas to work with. Well, intermingling all mm. of this with the, with this family, you yeah. know, and, you know, it's a diverse family. They are, you know, the terrible state of the economy, mm. uh, you know, the, the, the refugee crisis. Oh, that, uh, that's very well handled. That, that came out of nowhere for me. I, that, so, wow, that's oh, really interesting. Isn't he cute, the guy playing Victor as well? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I just, mm. I think... You know, Russell Davies is is a really, you know, conceptually it is just brilliant. And I think, you know, and it's it's just been really well done. Is this it's the show so of the impressive. year, do you think, so far? Is this the one that really grabs you in a way like nothing else does conceptually? Well, I I can't really wait to see this one all the way yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. And there are a lot of television series that I go, yeah, it's quite interesting, mm. but I'm not going to bother. Yeah. This one I'm going to bother. Totally. So what are you giving? I'm it? giving this five. I think this is about as good as television gets. I will too, actually. I think mm. it is, you know, that good. Mm. This country has never been more magnificent. I look ahead and see glory. Are you with me? You don't mind, do you? No. Oh.